Thank you for your yielding. Madam Speaker, I rise today in opposition of 8296. First, I'd like to say as a physician, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle need to focus on what their bill really does. Stop talking about ectopic pregnancies, which are a surgical emergency, fetal demise, where the, for unknown reasons the fetus uh, has uh, passed away, um, and miscarriages, which clearly also in many cases are surgical emergencies and are tragic. That's not what this bill is about. I have heard claims the bill only codifies provisions of the now overturned Roe v. Wade decision. That's simply not true. H.R. 8296 would create a national standard to allow abortions at any time up until birth. As a practicing heart surgeon for 15 years prior to coming to Congress, I operated on children in the neonatal intensive care unit as young as 23 weeks gestation. And even at 650 grams, or 1.4 pounds, and about six inches long, I saw life in my tiny patients' little bodies. This abortion on demand until birth act bill doesn't only allow abortions at any point in a pregnancy, it would also preempt and repeal state laws that require informed consent, ultrasounds, or other testing and counseling before undertaking an elective abortion. The American people deserve to know the facts about what's really in this bill. I find it troubling the supporters of this bill, most of whom have never taken care of a patient, continue to mislead the American people about what constitutes Gentleman's time has expired. Thank you. I yield back.